your own homemade skipping rope. The materials you need are plastic bags, a pair of scissors, a needle, thread, and duct tape. For step number you one, you need a large size bag, any color and size will work, and scissors. So for starters, take the bottom seam out of your bag to make sure the, the bag is open from the bottom. like this and then take the handles out and anything from the top making it a full rectangle like this okay so now you have your rectangle to make sure you're using the full maximum length of your bag, please take one of the bottom seams out, making sure it's open from only one of the sides. So it will look something like this. There we go, so now it's open from one side. And you can see that now it's it's full length. Fold your bag in half, and then again, and once more, and from there now you can cut four inches long for your strips. And there you go. So one strip should be looking like this. And what you have to do is now um, tie all these long strips together and tie it to a length which is appropriate for the skipping rope. So simply make a knot and continue to tie all the strips together. Make each strip as long as you think you would need um, your skipping rope to be and a little longer as it does tend to shrink after you braid it together. So my length is around this long and I want my skipping rope um, to be a little shorter than this so which is why I created um, one strip to be a little longer than the usual length of the skipping rope so after you knot all them together it should look something like this okay so for part two you need thread and a needle and as well as the 12 long pieces um, strips of plastic you want together so you need 12 of them as we're creating two braids and uh, six strips for each braid, um, as you will have three strands, and each strand will have a pair. So, you take the first six strands, we're creating the first braid only, so take six strands. So as you can see here, we have six here and they each have a pair, so the three strands we're working with. So to start off your braid, you need to secure the um, beginning of the braid. So sew all six pieces together with your needle and thread. So just neatly place together. If it's not that neat, it doesn't really matter as we covered um, on later steps as well. So as you can see, just take your needle them together. It's okay if it's not perfectly neat. Okay, so by the end of it, I, when you think you're done, um, to secure the thread, just create a couple of knots and that should do the trick. And then you can cut the extra piece of thread out. So just create two knots. I would say about three. Just make sure it's secure. And there, the leftover you can just cut out and place that on a side. So now, with your three strands for the braid, make sure each have a pair, so instead you have six, but three, 
and then now you're gonna simply start braiding it. Make sure it's not too tight, but not too loose. So it's a little bit flimsy, but you can knot through the strands coming out. So there's not too many holes. And simply braid it like this. Okay, so now I've got two, both of the braids braided. So something like this. You got these extra parts at the end. So now you can tape both braided pieces together, something like this, you duct tape, so it looks like a handle. And then you're gonna twist both of these braids together. This will strengthen your braid, which is why we created two braids. And um, it will help the endurance of your skipping rope. So you can just simply twist them. Wrap one around the other. Okay, so once you're done twisting the braid, so something like this. And after the end, you can duct tape it so it looks like a handle, as well as your twisted part will stay. So just duct tape it around, and your braid should stay. And there, there is your skipping rope. Please like and subscribe my videos.